morning Gemini welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles my name is Rosa and I am coming in with your weekly love reading where in this video we're going to take a look at your person's current feelings towards you this is a general love reading if it resonates with you right now feel free to show your support towards the channel this reading can be good for Sun Moon Venus and rising Gemini placements to the cross watchers checking in on a Gemini I do advise just to take the messages as they best resonate for you you can reverse the roles in today's video otherwise uh, I do recommend a personal reading and all the details on how to work with me and connect with me will be in the descriptions box below um, I will link my email address in the descriptions box below so feel free to shoot me an email uh, otherwise yeah just take what resonates Gemini uh, leave the rest you can just click on out and tune back in when I upload a new reading for your sign um, as you can see already laid out in front is an animal spirit card which I drew earlier this card here does represent your person's overarching feelings towards you this week and they are being represented by the snake now this triangle here with the line through it uh, does represent the element of earth so your person could be an earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn for some of you that could be some strong confirmation but what I'm getting here with the snake spirit is with regards to your person's current feelings towards you is I am getting someone here that is feeling ready to uh, evolve and take things to a higher level of commitment with you mm. that's what I'm seeing I'm seeing someone who is ready to uh, solidify a connection ready to make a relationship more solid more stable I'm almost seeing this snake as like a pentacle so this person is ready to offer you a, a commitment mm. yeah I, want, I don't want to say anything too soon so let's just get some tarot cards to unpack this because I mean this could seriously go in any direction uh, because I am seeing the snake as transformation and I'm seeing it as healing as well so for example if this person hurt you or upset you or let you down I can also read this as this person coming in wanting to fix things with you uh, rebuild a connection and heal the relationship so I also see that as well so let's unpack this a little bit more oh I did see the five of wands so for some of you maybe there was a dispute or an argument here and this person wants to apologize okay they want to heal and make amends all right so spirit angels and guys tell us more about this snake energy okay the six of cups is in reverse i forgot to mention that there's reversals in this deck today okay the six of cups is in reverse tell us more tell us more spirit why is this person coming in as the snake okay we've got oh, there it is okay the five of wands is here yeah okay tell us more all right there we have it the nine of swords okay so here's what's going on with this person this person is feeling very stressed anxious or worried here with the nine of swords um, due to perhaps some kind of a separation argument or fight that occurred between the both of you mm. we do have the six of cups here which is in reverse and when it's in the upright it shows me a beautiful connection between two people 
um, that really care about each other. When it's in reverse, it's showing me that there is a separation between two people that really care about each other. So clearly here, there is a separation um, between two people, you and this person. And this person is worried because this distance or this separation um, has continued on for perhaps longer than it should. And I feel with the snake, their feelings for you this week, it, it feels like this person wants to heal uh, this rift or this separation, but they're worried that they're not going to be able to do so. Mm. Okay, let's clarify some of these cards. Tell me more about this Six of Cups in reverse. Tell me more about this Six of Cups in reverse. Why is the Six of Cups in reverse? Yeah, whatever they did, whatever this person did to upset you, uh, Gemini, they are really sorry here. Page of Cups, it's a, it's a card of apologies. This person's sorry, whatever they did, whatever they said here, they're showing that they're sorry and they're hoping that you can forgive them. This person understands here that they can't go back uh, to the past and they can't undo what they did, but they're hoping here that you can forgive them and that you guys can move past this or that you can move past this. Tell me more about the Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here? Why is the Five of Wands here? The Magician. Mm. I feel like with the Magician, this person is trying really hard to... because the magician is, this is manifestation. So this person is trying very hard to manifest a reconciliation because with the five of wands, there's conflict between you and this person. This person doesn't want you guys to fight anymore. They don't want to argue with you anymore. They don't want this conflict or this animosity to be between the both of you anymore. They want to heal the conflict. Hmm. They want to be on the same page as you. They want to do whatever it takes. To start fresh, to start over. This is someone who is very resourceful. Uh, Gemini. That's what they're showing me. They're showing me that they're very resourceful. They have what it takes to make this work. They have what it takes to fix things with you. They're not coming in with excuses. Okay. They're not coming in with lies or deceit or trickery. No. They've got what it takes to make it right here with you. Mm. They want to heal this, right? 
why is the nine of swords here why is the nine of swords here yeah the seven of cups they're just worried because they're not really sure how this is going to go the seven of cups is it's a card of confusion it's emotional confusion and it's because this person still loves you they still have a lot of feelings for you here they're not thinking uh, rationally because they're thinking emotionally <laughs> because they love you um, yeah um, yeah this is emotional thinking they this person isn't thinking uh, logically because they still care there's a lot of emotion involved here yeah there's a lot of feeling involved here with this person yeah Mm. <coughs> it's it's almost like love or emotion is motivating this person yeah that's the best way for me to describe this okay how do you feel uh towards this person how does ooh the hierophant the hierophant Hmm. Tell me more. The Knight of Wands. How does Gemini feel towards this person? The Two of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay. Give me a moment, um, Gemini. You're not sure you're not sure about this person because the two of pentacles is here you're not too sure about them you may feel like this person um, is very wishy-washy here with you Mm. you may feel like this person acts very hot and cold with you is very inconsistent here with you I'm going to clarify and with the Hierophant you're looking for stability you're looking for security Hmm. I'm just going to clarify these cards. Tell me more about the Knight of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, the Eight of Cups. Yeah, I feel like, uh, Gemini, you... For some of you Geminis, you have had to just walk away from this situation or from this person. Uh, you have emotionally checked out because some of you have tried to make this work only to leave yourself feeling depleted or disappointed because I feel like you've stayed in the hopes that this person would change um, but it seems like they still brought you sort of a reoccurring pattern you know I feel like maybe they promised you that they would change or they promised you they would be more reliable than they actually were. Mm. 
And I just feel like you had no choice but to check out of this relationship. Mm. I feel like with the Hierophant, you were maybe looking for more of a commitment, more stability from this person. You were wanting a higher level of commitment. And it's interesting that I said that this person was... Tell me more about this Hierophant for... Yeah, there we go. King of Pentacles. You were wanting someone who was more consistent with you. Someone who showed more discipline. Someone who showed that they wanted something serious and long term. I mean, the King of Pentacles, he's, he's like a long term serious relationship guy. And that's what you wanted. Whereas you felt like this person was sort of one foot in, one foot out. Mm. Okay. Um. I'm just trying to see what else I can see here with you. I'm just going to have a look at this Two of Pentacles because you're a mutable sign and sometimes I read the Two of Pentacles as you may change your mind when it comes to this person. It really just depends on how they approach you. Why is the Two of Pentacles here for Gemini? Not the judgment card. See what I mean? So if this person was to return to you uh, with the judgment card, you may give this person a second chance. You may give them a second chance. It really depends on how they approach you. It depends on how they come towards you. If they show up correct and in the, in the manner that you're wanting them to show up in, you may give this person a, a second chance. Mm. That's what I'm seeing. Let's see how this person will act towards you. What will this person's next actions be towards Gemini? What will this person's next actions be towards Gemini? Okay. Three of Wands is here. What will this person's next actions be towards Gemini? Okay, what have we got here? Okay, we've got the Page of Pentacles with the Eight of Swords. Hmm. Let's have a look. Okay, so... I'm just going to clarify this Page of Pentacles, Gemini. Why is the Page of Pentacles in reverse? The Ten of Wands. Okay. With the High Priestess underneath. Okay. So I'm reading that page of pentacles in reverse as you. So this person is looking to come towards you. 
um, because this is when I see the three of wands it sometimes involves physical distance it speaks to physical distance and it means that this person um, needs to travel to come towards you uh, because they can feel here that there is like a physical distance between the both of you uh, you may not be in communications right now because the page of pentacles is in reverse so I do feel like this person will approach you um, they will make a move to come towards you uh, to try to yeah alter and and fix things with you the fact that the ten of wands is coming in to clarify it shows me here that this person will bend over backwards to try to repair rebuild and fix um, the damage that perhaps they caused here uh, they caused between the both of you yeah mm. for some reason with the page of pentacles this person is viewing you as perhaps seeing you as someone who may not uh, take them back or resist their offer they're viewing you as resisting uh, their offer of apology or resisting to uh, reconcile or fix things with them but with the ten of wands here I'm just seeing this person not giving up mm. doing everything possible to try to get you to accept their offer guys mm. I'm just going to clarify this Eight of Swords. Yeah, the Knight of Wands is here. Which is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So the Eight of Swords is fear, it's limiting thoughts. This person may have a fear-based mindset, which could, potentially, which could potentially hold them back from trying to work things out here with you, but they are overcoming it, excuse me, with the Knight of Wands here. This person will overcome whatever is challenging them mentally or blocking them mentally because the Knight of Wands is, this is pursuing energy. This person will come towards you to pursue you, to try to win you and win you over, win your affections to try to get you to change your mind about them. Mm. This person is really passionate about healing and restoring your relationship. They're really passionate about it and I can just see that this person is is going to do everything that they can here yeah what's at the bottom look at this we've got the eight of swords again mm. so I'm just seeing here like they don't know what that's gonna look like But they're just going to do it anyway. They're just going to take action and they're just going to go with it. They haven't got any real practical plan in place. 
but they're just going to put one foot forward in front of the other. This is someone who is following their heart. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's um, let's grab some last padding messages and our advice. Whichever wants to come first, Gemini. Last padding messages and our advice for our Gemini's who are listening listening in here today. If it resonates, Gemini, feel free to show your support towards the channel. Let me know which part of the reading best resonates for you. Let's see what spirit has for you. Five of Swords is here. Mm. I, I immediately, my eyes go straight to the Vulture. And the Vulture is kind of like a lack a lack mentality or a lack mindset. Um, that's what I immediately associate the vulture with because the vulture lives in the wild, don't they? They live in the African heartlands and they kind of live off scraps in the heartlands. So it makes me feel like when it comes to advice for you, Gemini, it may be a little too late. It may be a little too late for you because with this one sword, you may be looking at this one sword thinking, you know what, Rosa, I already made my decision. My decision to walk away is final. Um, the damage is done as hard as it is. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just, it's too little too late. If this person wants to try to heal and, and restore and fix things, uh, if they're looking to commit to me now and offer me a commitment, it's just too late. But that's what I'm feeling for a lot of Geminis here today. I just feel like your feelings towards this person have frozen over. Yeah. What have we got here? We've got the Sun card. Yes, the sun could be connecting to a Leo here, but the sun is new beginnings. I feel like I'm connecting to a Gemini who is following their truth, following their heart, uh, following their happiness and for some of you you feel like your happiness is elsewhere okay you may feel like this relationship doesn't make you happy anymore yeah this relationship doesn't fulfill you anymore and since deciding to walk away from this relationship, you feel more revitalized. You feel more energized. You're experiencing more joy in your life. Mm. And also too, the sun speaks to confidence. So for some of you, you feel more confident than ever that you made the right decision. But above all, I'm getting here with the sun, the sunlight here, that you made your decision and now you're wanting a new beginning elsewhere. Yeah. A new path, a new beginning awaits elsewhere. So what's at the bottom of the deck? The star. Look at that. Yeah, I just felt guided to look at the bottom of the deck. This is the star, guys. You're being guided down a different path. You're being guided down a new path. 
you're positive, that your, your path You're feeling positive and you're feeling certain here that your path is meant to go down a different track. Yeah. Mm. So I'm, I'm going to leave it there, uh, Gemini. Let me know your thoughts and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.